Welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about sets and relations. So here we are going to discuss this topic in three sections. So first we are going to discuss about introduction to the sets and then we are going to discuss about Venn diagrams and then we are going to discuss about introduction to the relations. So first let us discuss what is a set. So here a set is a well defined collection of objects. To explain this concept let us consider an example over here. So here we have an example as set of natural numbers less than 10. We already know that the natural numbers are denoted with the letter n and here the natural numbers which are less than 10 are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9. So here the natural numbers which are less than 10 are the elements of this set written in a row separated by the commas and then enclosed in the braces. And now let us learn what is a set builder form. So here to discuss this topic let us consider another example over here. So here we have an example as a is equal to 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 comma 11 comma 13. So here we observe that the elements of this set are the odd natural numbers. So here in set builder form we describe a set by some common property common to all its elements. And here we denote the letter x to represent the every element of the set and we can write this set as x such that x is an odd natural numbers and where x is less than 14. And now let us solve the next example. So here we have the another example as b is equal to x such that x square is equal to 4 and here the given condition is 3x equal to 9. And now here let us find the value of x by using the given condition 3x is equal to 9. So here by transferring 3 to the other side we get here x equal to 9 divided by 3. On simplifying here we get 3 1 times is 3 and 3 3 times is 9 and here we get the x value as 3. Now let us substitute the x value in the equation x square is equal to 4 we get here 3 whole square is equal to 4 and that implies here 3 whole square is 9 is not equal to 4. So here we don't get any element for the value of x. So we get here an empty set and we call this type of set as a null set and we represent this symbol to write the null set. So this was a basic introduction on sets and now let us move forward and know what are the Venn diagrams. So here the Venn diagrams are first introduced by John Venn. According to him the Venn diagrams are nothing but a diagram that uses the circles to represent sets in which the relations between the sets are represented by the arrangement of circles. And now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have an example as x is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and we have the set y as p comma q comma r. Now let us represent this in the form of a Venn diagram. So here we use the circles to represent the set x in which we have written the elements of x that are 1 comma 2 comma 3 and here we have here another circle in which we have represented the elements of y that are p comma q comma r and now let us map the elements of x with the elements of y and here we can map the first element of x 1 with the first element of y p here. Similarly we can also map the other elements of x with the other elements of y. So here 2 is mapped with q and 3 is mapped with r. And here we get the order pairs as 1 comma p as they are mapped with each other and we get the second order pair as 2 comma q and here we have the third order pair as 3 comma r. So here in the next example we have a set of order pairs where a is equal to 2 comma 3, 4 comma 5, 5 comma 6 
and 7 comma 8 and now let us represent this example in the form of a Venn diagram so here let us write the first element of each order pair in one Venn diagram and the second elements of each order pair in the second diagram and now let us represent the first Venn diagram with X and the second Venn diagram with Y and now here let us map the first element of X to with the 3 and similarly we can map the other elements so here 4 is mapped with 5 and 5 is mapped with 6 and again here 7 is mapped with 8 and here we get these elements of set X as 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 7 and here we get the set Y elements as 3 comma 5 comma 6 comma 8 and now let us learn what are the relations so here a relation maps the elements of one set to the another set in other words a relation is simply a set of order pairs and where the order pair is the pair of elements which are placed in a particular order so here we have some order pairs say 1 comma 10 2 comma 20 3 comma 30 4 comma 40 and 5 comma 50 and here to explain this concept in detail let me consider an example over here so here we have the first example as a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and here we have only one element 5 in the set B and now here let us represent this in the form of a Venn diagram so here we have two Venn diagrams in which we have written the elements of A in one diagram and then the element of B that is 5 in the other Venn diagram and now let us map the first element of A with the element of B here and similarly we can map the other elements of with the element of B so here we can map 2 with the 5 and similarly we can map here 3 with 5 and we get here the order pairs as 1 comma 5 and 2 comma 5 then 3 comma 5 so this was a basic introduction on sets and relations hope you understood the concept to like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day